The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter is made possible by a contribution from Cool Mini or Not. Hi, I'm Kathy, and you're about to watch an episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I really enjoy watching Dad vs. Daughter. I love their banter, and they're very informative about the game, whether it be the rules or whether or not I'm on the fence about buying this particular game. The one thing I do not do when I watch is take sides. Even though I can relate to the dad a bit, since I am a mom who plays board games with her grown children, I know the competition. But I would never, never think of taking sides. Go, Dad. Never, ever. Because Megan is a very, very formidable opponent. Go, Dad. I would never, ever think of taking sides. You just don't do that. Go, Dad. So turn up the volume, sit back, and enjoy this episode of Dad vs. Daughter. Go, Dad. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. And today we are playing Potion Explosion from Horrible Games and Simon. Cool Mini or Not. But it is not a horrible game. No, it is it's not a, a horrible game. game. I think you'll, uh, you'll find that out when, in our playthrough. We yes. really enjoyed playing this game. Mm -hmm. um, but one caution is that you don't want to lose your marbles in this game. You don't. No. Don't be like Toodles and lose your marbles. Toodles. Or Lost toodles. my marbles. Yes, because marbles are an integral part of this game, mm -hmm. uh, as well as drinking potions that might give you a stomachache. Might, but they might also be good, too. Yeah. Might make you really happy. So, go dad. Go daughter. <laughs> Okay, so we have the game set up here. Um, Megan, did you ever get a letter from Hogwarts? I didn't, no. But there is a theory that all the Muggleborns got wiped out of the Ministry of Magic's like registry during that year. Yeah. And that would have been my birth year. Really? So I probably never got my letter because of that. Seriously, was it your birth year? Yes, it was. Wow. I have looked that up. I'll bet you have. I have. <laughs> you are the resident Harry Potter... Uh... Fanatic. Yeah, we'll leave yeah. it at that. Okay, so... Uh, Potion Explosion actually has a backstory where you do get a letter. Yes, but it's not from Hogwarts. It's from a different school. So it says, Dear students, it's that time of year. Your last year at the Horribly Om Sorcery Academy for Witty Witches and Wizards is almost over, and it's time for your final exams. As always, the rules are the same. Take the ingredients from the dispenser and the potions lab to complete your potions. Keep in mind that the potions and explosions you may cause triggers that can be useful. The use of potions you brew during this exam is not only allowed, but encouraged. Use them wisely to do a quicker and better job, and it will prove your worth as a soon-to-be witch or wizard. When enough skill tokens have been awarded, the exam will end. Remember, though, that in order to win the Student of the Year award, you'll need to be the one who brewed the most difficult and valuable potions. Good luck. So the way we score points in the game is by completing potions. So you'll notice here, I'll just show you this one close up. If we complete this, we're gonna get four points. On the front side, this is what's called the uh, recipe side. Uh, it shows that we need two blue, which are unicorn, unicorn tears, tears, and two black, which are... Ogre mucus. Yeah, that just sounds so really Shrek's disgusting. Not. Yeah, so when you complete this, then you flip it over, and then you can see the points better in the green there. Uh, but now you have a completed potion. In this case, this is the Potion of Magnetical Attraction. Mm -hmm. And at the top of the flask here, you're going to be able to see what uh, ability this gives us. In this case, we can take two adjacent ingredients of different colors from the same slide of the dispenser. So, And it doesn't trigger any explosions. So what that means is I could go and I could actually take like this blue and this yellow or this red and the blue. I couldn't take both reds in that case. And what we mean by explosions is basically how you're going to gain more of your ingredients. So let's say for my pick of my ingredient, I want to take this red marble here. So that would technically cause an explosion here of these black marbles because they hit and they basically react and blow up. So I get these black marbles. Now that triggered the red and that does that and then no more triggering. So these are all of my marbles that I can do to complete my potions and my Brunson burners. Yep. Um... We also get points if we brew three potions of the same kind. Yes. Then we get these uh, special little awards here, and they're they're all worth uh, four points apiece. I forgot what these are actually called. 
Those are called a skill token. Yeah, skill token. So we're going to get Achievious these. Achievious Rewardious, as it says in the rule book. Yeah, and is that what that says right there in the little... Yep. Okay. Uh, in a two-player game, you start with four of these in a stack. Mm -hmm. And once those are gone, that triggers the end of the game. Uh, Megan showed you, basically, on your turn, you can take what's called a one normal pick. And that is just by taking one of those, uh, one of the marbles from there. You can also ask the teacher for help. It's going to cost you a negative two points. So you get this, and you can do this once per turn as well. But the reason why you would do this is to set yourself up for your normal pick because mm -hmm. only your normal pick will trigger an explosion and get those combos that you want to get. So we start with eight potions here. Megan, do you want to talk about what each one of these are? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start here. Do you want to like flip it over to show the back? Oh, yeah, let's do that. So we have the red stopper here, and this is what it looks like. Elixir of Blind Love. So you can steal all the ingredients from another opponent's pool. So why bother with theft when all you need to do is unleash your dazzling charm? And when we talk about stealing from their pool, we look at the Bunsen burner here, our, our desk. So there's our two Bunsen burners that the potions will fit into. But we also have this area here, which is our pool. Uh, so... If we complete this and we drink the potion, then we would turn it upside down. We still get the points at the end of the game, but then we get the effect. So in this case, if Megan had uh, any marbles there, I'd be able to steal them and use them on my turn. Mm -hmm. Next we have the Sands of Time. So when you activate, um, basically drink it, you activate again the effect of one potion you have already used. So then you can just basically refill it and then drink it again. Right. Next, we have the Filter of Lava Menacing. So discard up to five ingredients of one color from the same slide track of the dispenser back into the tank. No explosions are triggered. I think it's Lava Mancing. Lava Mancing. What did I say? Lava Menacing. Yeah. It's pretty terrifying either way. So that one is the Potion of Magnetical Attraction, which we already showed. Yep. So they take two adjacent ingredients and basically put them in your little pool. Next, we have Potion of Wisdom. And I want to point out, it's a brain. It's kind of brainish. It's a little gross. But the color is cool. I like the purple. So you take one ingredient of your choice from the dispenser and no explosions are triggered. So you'll kind of see that's a common theme. Whatever you do won't trigger an explosion. Yeah. You get all those extra marbles. Only your, your normal pick causes an explosion. Mm -hmm. Or can cause an explosion. This is Balm of Uttermost Stickiness. It looks like snot and grossness. So you take two or more adjacent ingredients of the same color from the same slide of the dispenser track. Yep. Then I have this one. I think this is my favorite. It's just super cool looking. The Potion of Prismic Joy. It's kind of like Felix Felicis. Makes you all happy and lucky. So you can place all the ingredients in your pool on any holes of your incompleted potions, regardless of their color. Yep. That's a very popular one. Mm -hmm. And lastly, we have the Abyssal Draft. So take up to one ingredient of each color from the bottom row of the dispenser, and you can only take one ingredient from each slide track. So for this one, all we can take is a yellow and a blue, because that's the only two colors that are available. But you do get to pick which which of the rows you want to take that it from. That could set you up too, possibly. So that's something you got to look at, how you're going to let the marbles fall, and how you want to plan your turns, and hopefully your opponent isn't planning to take the same row of marbles right so what you do in the game is there are eight total potions but you're only going to play with six yes. so you can either decide which two that you want to take out of the rotation or you can if you have an eight sided die or if you have an app then you can figure out which ones we're going to do so we're going to go you know one two three all the way to eight we're going to figure out which two we want to uh, get rid of so we tap that so number six, six will be the bomb of utmost stickiness. And our next one will be what, so six, six, two. number two. So that one the is Sands the of Sands time. of Time. It does say in the rule book for your first few games, um, Professor Albus, or Alpheus um, Humble Score, he suggests you take out the bomb of utmost stickiness and filters a lava mancing just because only the most talented potion brewers possess the necessity experience to handle them. So if you just kind of want to play with that type of starter setup, you can. Otherwise, just do what we did and randomize it. Yeah. Uh, it also says that the first player is determined by whoever last mixed a drink. I made tea this morning. 
Yeah, I guess that counts. I put sugar in it because and I stirred it up. All I did was get water from the tap, so that's not really mixing I the make drink. Tea. I think so that you get the little British. handy dandy uh, first player starter token. And now what you can do is you'll notice that the tops of each one of these uh, they stacks, stars. they have little stars on them. I see right there. That means these are the starter uh, potions. So Megan, you'll get to choose one. Okay. I'll get to choose the next two, and then Megan will get to choose the last one. Take that one. And it all depends on the number of players. Yeah, I I don't blame you on that. So I think I'm going to take that one as well. And then you get another one. Um. So see. potion of prismic joy we've both selected. And you can tell these are starters too. They're low points and they're pretty easy to complete. Just yeah. Two colors or three even. Not a lot going on. I think, you know, I'm going to take the, uh, Elixir that one. Elixir of Elixir, Blind Love. Elixir of Blind Love. And putting them in some bonbons. Yeah. Like okay, bonbon. Megan, you can choose your last one. Um, I think I will take the Potion of Magnetical Attraction. We'll try that one. Okay. So now what we do is we take the remaining uh, potions here and we shuffle them all up and we create five stacks that are pretty even. Um, that way everything is all mixed up and ready to go. So let's do that. So they're all shuffled up and ready to go. Megan, you are the first player. Yes, so you will get to, since you don't have any uh, potions that you're going to drink, then uh, I guess you could take or get help from the professor here. If you want to set up For negative something. two. Yeah, you could. Um, and we are going to keep or try to keep our completed potions off camera just to uh, kind of build the suspense as far as who actually is winning. Yes, we'll do that. So I think for my first pick, we only get one pick, um, I'm going to take this red one and then that triggered the three blues. Then I will place them here like that. Okay, your turn. I think I shall take this red one. Mm-hmm. And trigger the and yellow. And I'll take those two yellow. And that was it. And that, yeah, that's all I'm going to do on my turn. So I'm just going to put those right there. All right. Let's see. I'm going to take this black one. So that triggers those. Oh, nice. And get and all, those all those I don't need them all, but I can maybe use them for another potion coming up. I have completed that one. So Megan actually has four of the marbles left. Yep. <laughs> but she's only got space for three. So she gets to pick which three that she wants to keep. And then the one that she doesn't, then she just puts back. And you just put it on top of the dispenser there, and then you let it roll to wherever it, mm -hmm. it can go. So this one is complete, my potion of magnetical attraction. So I'll just put that on down there. Obviously it's only pretty much going into one hole. Yeah. The and when they get stuck in, it says just move them to the closest hole that they go into. Yeah. Uh, also, as far as getting the little achievement tokens, I think I mentioned that if you have a, a set of three of the same kind, you get to take one. Mm -hmm. Also, if you have five different ones, then you also get to take one of those tokens as well. Um, and I get to pick a new potion, though. You do get to pick a new potion, and you do that at the end of your turn, and that kind of is the last thing that you do. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you have everything else kind of set up, because once you do that, you cannot place any more marbles, marbles now. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take this one. It's the other potion of Prismic Joy, partly because I can go ahead and start filling that one up. Yeah, that's it's not something a, to look at. Not well, then a, I've got my two, so I could go for that as my three. You could. Your turn, though. Yeah. I see a couple things you could do. Just a matter of you don't need <laughs> some of those colors, though. Well. If I see something where you could complete one of yours. The filters of the lava mist. Yeah, I'm going to do that. You talked me into it. I'm going to take <laughs> that and take these three blue as well. So I can place your black so, in that one. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. that and that will complete the elixir that. of blind love. Just check them out there. So I will flip that over. And you know what? I'm going to drink that one right away. Because oh no. that allows me to steal from your <sighs> flask. That's not fair, dude. It's not fair? It's, it's like ogre mucus? Totally. So I'm going to actually just go ahead and place those 
here. And I'll place the remaining ones there in my beaker. Beaker. Beaker's my favorite Muppet. And I'm going to take the wisdom, the uh, potion wisdom. of wisdom. I like that brain. You know, all it's the stoppers are, are kind of indicative of what they each do. of the potions do. Yeah. What is their name as well? Yeah. Well, you took my little ingredients, so what can I do here? Because that just kind of messed up my plan a little. I'm sorry. Yeah. I think I'm going to take a little help from the potion master. Would that be Professor Snape? Professor Snape, yep. Or would it be... Slughorn? Slughorn. He wasn't a master. Come on, it was always Snape. Uh, let's see, I'll take that one. And then mm -hmm. for my pick, I will take that and it will trigger those two yellows. Um, we got a black, yellow. Interesting, I thought you were going to take for the, go for the black ones. Yeah, but I complete this one though. So those will go right back in there. And I've completed that. And what would I like to take? Let's take this one. That one is the Abyssal Draft. All right. You know, there's a lot of thinking. This could, this game is prone to analysis paralysis sometimes. Yes. You're trying to figure out exactly what's your best pick. Uh, and well, that's really where the help from the professor comes in. Well, it's also like some of them, just the order that they kind of fall in is like, mm, you're not going to get much out of your turn. No. And you want to try to maximize, obviously. Yeah. But you're also limited to how you can work it. Work it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Well, that's push it. Yeah, I was going to say, you got the wrong song there. Work it real good. Or is that push it real good? Not up on my salt and pepper. No, you're not. Um, you know, I think I'm not gonna, I'm not, bleh, I'm just gonna take, <laughs> take my, uh, it's your fairy dandruff. my fairy dandruff, yeah. and that knock these two blues together, and I'll take those. So, I will place that yellow in there, I'll place that, and I will complete this potion, Prismatic Joy, and... Makes you happy. It does. If I'm happy and I know it, I drink a potion. Oh. So, <laughs> uh, I think... I think my best bet is actually I'm going to drink that right away. You might as well, yeah, and start playing and finish that potion too. Because that's going to go there. Yep. And well, it doesn't matter have, the color. I can put that there. So yeah. So might as well complete it and get two new ones. To I work will with. be able to complete that. that this is a fun my, part of the game. Just my potion of more. wisdom. Uh, let's see. Let's. Let's go ahead and let's take the po another potion of wisdom. That here. one you're going to go for. And I think too? I'm going to take another uh, potion mm. of prismatic joy. All right then. Oh, you kind of set me up for something good here. It looks like. So. Yeah, I can see it staring right at me. Yeah, and that middle row there. I'll yep. take that. And yeah, that cause those. And all those reds, which works out because I need a lot of reds and blacks. So. There's that, that, and I'm one shy, but why not, let's just drink my potion of prismatic joy and complete that one as well. Wow, very nice. Voila. So those will go back in the tank. Actually, the tank is totally full now. Yes, it is. I love this part of the game, though. It's set up and all. So that is... Two potions completed right there. Let's see what other ones do I want to take? I probably should try. Let's take this one, the lava, and hmm. Let's take the potion of wisdom as well. That'll be mine. So your turn. Well, I know what I need, and I need... But how can you get it? Well, That's the thing. I, I see something you could try. Well, I see... To give you at least a handful. I see multiple things I could try. But you want to try to be as most... Uh, Resourceful. You want to get the well, most out of it. You do want to get the most out of your turn. 
that doesn't give me a whole lot but I think I'll do this I'm gonna take the fairy dandruff mm -hmm. and I'll take some unicorn tears don't shed a tear for me at least you're not taking their blood because you know that's a bad thing to do yeah well unicorn blood yeah that's don't that's really don't good. do that how many Harry Potter references can we put in one video? I mean, the rule book already puts a lot in it, so yeah, you know. Yeah, it is very slanted to Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, that is all I'm going to do. Are you going to do? That's all I'm going to do. Cool. I'm going to take my dragon smoke that triggered the Some ogre Some ogre boogies. Yeah, at least it's better than troll, troll boogies. Troll, boogie, troll boogies. Whoa. There's a troll in the dungeon. I thought you should do. And I'll just put that there. Right. It's your turn. Okay. Seeing something else you probably want to do. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I was going to say. Right I'll take that from the middle, which knocks these two together. And you get some pillows. So you can complete that one there. Well, yes, I can. And you've got ingredients to spare. Look at you. Yeah. And so these will go back. In that little middle. So that's all we've got. And oops, I'll flip that over. I feel like I see what you want to do. That's all I can do. I mean, you I'm might want to work for something else. One. Yeah, I figured you'd take that one. Alrighty then. What do I want to do? Now, usually by this time, I've already taken a couple of I help know, from the teacher, but I like, haven't done hmm, that yet. We're working on it. We'll get there. What is your exams? It could be your OWLs. OWLs? OWLs, yeah. My owls. It's late. Let's take that and those two, and I'll just store those in my little beaker. Beaker? Beaker. Every time I hear that, that's exactly what I want to say. Um, I, I like beaker. Do that. I'm going to do that. So I am going to drink my potion of wisdom. Mm. My one potion. Are you smarticle? My smarticle. And I am going to take this blue. Okay. That's not what I figured you And I'm going to drink my other potion of wisdom. Yeah, there you go. And I'm going to take this other blue. And then your pick will be that red. I'm pick that red. And, and then the I'm going to get all these ogre that's, mucus. That's pretty good. Yeah. I would wash your hands, though, after dealing with those ingredients. Yeah. That's probably a little gross. So this one is done. Yep. So put it all back in. Yeah. I like to play with the marbles. And... Do you want to go ahead and use that? You know I do. You might as well. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drink my potion of prismatic joy. You're just because just so happy over it does. there. It makes me so darn happy. And I'm going to use these two to complete the other potion of prismatic joy. Reminded of an 80s song called Private Joy. It's from the Weird Science uh, soundtrack. soundtrack. Yes. I have so not seen that movie. I now actually have three, three of the Prismatic Joy, so I will there get one of these tokens for four points. And now I get to choose. What would you like to choose? Well, I'm going to choose the Potion of Love. The Elixir of Blind Love. Yeah, because you actually steal from somebody. Um, That's just mean. Like, come on. Yeah. You're leading them on, and then you're just taking their stuff. It's not nice. What other ones do I want to go for? I don't know. What do you want to go for? So tell me what I want. What I really, really want. Um, that's worth six. That one's worth four. I'll take this one. Yeah, I was going to say. Go ahead. Well, Plus they're all the same color ingredients. Yeah, that, that helps. Probably not the wisest because you want to diversify so you can use everything you, well, you've got. Yeah, do what you got to do. Like, I'm kind of stuck here, but I think I might be able to make it work. Let's take one of these dragon smokes that right, triggers all of those. Ooh, now I've got yellows. This is a good. Oh one. man, look at that! That's a heck of a combo. That's pretty good. That is a combo meal, my my daughter. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say my friend, but <laughs> oh, yeah. you are my friend, but you're also my daughter. Yeah, that works too. Well, I've got a lot going on here, so I'm gonna use my potion of prismatic joy and just fill all those up. Complete my two. Nice. So, drop those back in there. And complete my potion of wisdom and my 
filter of lava mancing. Looks like you got five different ones over there. I do there. have five different ones, so I think I'm gonna take a little bonus po token there. And then I've gotta put some of these in my beaker. Beaker. Beaker, beaker. I think I wanna keep my reds. Oop, put my black ones back in there. There's, I think I wanna take that one for eight. And let's go ahead and take this one as well. I'll probably be my three. All right, your turn. Yeah, let's see, what, what do I want to take here? I don't really want that. I need those. I feel like this is set up better for you than it is for it me. It might be, that's always a thing. I mean, you could take some blues. You need blues, blacks, yeah. and yellows. No reds, though. That's all me. I got a pretty good selection of reds. Well, let's just let's do this. Something. I know. Not really what I want to do, but I'm going to take take this dragon smoke, and then I'll take these unicorn tears. More dragon and smoke. And some more dragon smoke, which I can't use. Well, but I can use these. So I'll place those. You've got your potion, too, over there, if you want to use it, but... That's true. I could. And you could complete that one. And you know one. what? You're, not, you're right. I am. I'm going to drink my potion of prismatic joy. You're just so dang happy. I'm going to use all three of these to basically complete this potion. Uh, this is... Which one is this one again? That's the abyssal draft. I can take those from the bottom row. Yeah. It's like swampy under the sea. But like the problem a, is, the bottom row yellow, is a yellow red. and a red. So that's not really a good use of my thing. So well, I'm not, you might need it once you start changing gonna, stuff. I'm not going to do that. You never know. Um, wow. <laughs> I really need something different here. I'm going to go for this one here. Because that's a 10-pointer ten ten if yeah. I can complete it. All right, I think I'm going to take another help here and take that one. And then that's going to be my pick. Oh, nice. There's all those reds I'm going to need. All that dragon smoke. Yep. Is that from Smaug? Smaug. Smaug's dragon smoke? It could be, you know, why not? We'll throw in some Lord of the Rings references. You know, because, you know, the dragon smoke in this game is from sustainable sources. Uh, it's delivered in a steaming hot to our marble plant formed into one of the 20 red marbles in this box and left to cool down. Could be Smaug. Smaug. We can make it be Smaug instead of the Hungarian Horntail. Are you done? Yeah, I'm probably done. Do anything else? Uh, no. I could have used my potion instead of that. Oh, well. That's what happens. Okay. Um, so I just canceled out my bonus. <laughs> Oops. I, I'm going to take... That uh, pixie or fairy dust, fairy dandruff, fairy and I get dandruff. all these boogies, all this mucus. ogre mucus. Yeah, that's all. You're hanging there. out with some ogres in the swamp. Swamp. The swamp. And put those two there. All right, you might. I'm done. Really? Yeah. I'm seeing something you could do, but okay. Yeah, that's that's not gonna do me any good. The only potion I can I only really take before. one. Yeah. I'm going to drink my Potion of Wisdom, and I'm going to take this blue, and my pick will be the black, and then Get some of that dandruff. I need some dandruff. Sounds so wrong, but completes those. I'll go ahead and put that there, and these two potions are complete. And your one extra. So those go there. That is my three of a kind. There's Ooh, wow. that. And I'm still going though. So you have a chance to trigger end of game if you get that last one. Because you're at, you need to complete one more potion and you can get your five of a kind. Yeah, you're kind of close to that too. Mm. Let's do this one, the magnetic attraction, and let's 
take the elixir of blind love. We'll do those. So your turn. Okay. Um, boy, it still doesn't help me a whole lot if I did that. I see what I really want to do, or I know what I really want to do. What do you want to do? Um, I want to get. You need I want to get some marbles. Yeah. I want to get some marbles that are that are. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to complete that one. I know which one, yeah. I mean, you want to complete the higher one, obviously, yeah. But what's going to be your best bet of doing that? Um, I think it's doing this. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to take this unicorn tier, and yeah. I'll take these two unicorn tiers. So that will allow me to do this and complete this potion. Yep. Here. That is your fifth potion. So, five nope, uniques. It's not my fifth Two, unique. Five, isn't it? Nope. Yeah, it is. Nope. Oh. It is not. However, it is the uh, blind, blind love. love. You want to go ahead and drink that? I'm going to drink that. There you go. And take some. Yeah, that's helping things. out a little. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. Oops. And put that there. Okay. Now oh, you're getting close. Um, it's kind of worrying. Wow, well, I could do that. I'm trying to think what else. What's in my best interest? I think I will. I'm going to go ahead and take this potion of wisdom. Yep. Okay. All right, your turn, Megan. My turn. I have yet to ask for help from the professor. Yeah, I've done that. I think I'm going to drink my potion of magnetical attraction. Put those go into your pool, right? If I'm reading that correctly. You, you can you use, them right use them right away. That's what I thought. Um, so two from the same row yeah. that are different, that are adjacent and different. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and take these two. And go ahead and place those. And then I'm gonna take this unicorn tier, take those, uh -oh. those, and those. Wow. Can't do what I wanted to do though. I don't think I can. What other potion do I have here? Well you can you can actually complete the other one instead of assigning all four of the unicorn tiers to that one, you could assign it to the other oh, one. Oh I could, yeah. Because technically, once you place them, you're not allowed to move them. But mm. yeah, you can do it. Mm. We're, this, we're friendly here. Okay, I'll do that then. So that's complete. And can I do anything else here? Any other potions? Don't think I can. So, hmm. I'll go ahead and take that one. No, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drink this abysmal draft. Abysmal? It is abysmal, isn't it? It's abyssal. Abyssal? It's like yeah. the abyss. Oh, yeah, well, it's it's pretty abysmal, let me tell you. <laughs> you know, take pepto pepto abysmal oh, after gosh. that. Uh, so I'm going to get. A red and a yellow. I'm going to get a red and a yellow. Uh, How do you want to take it? I think I'm going to... Yeah. yeah. I'm going to take this one and this one. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and place those like that. And? Now for my regular pick. Let's see. Yeah. How many more do you need on that one? Get time playing. Well, I'm trying to do something else here. I could take some help. You might as well. You haven't. Well, I was actually trying to get another... Another... Uh, potion? Po no, another token. If I could complete my Potion of Wisdom, I would actually get the get the uh, last one. But if I also completed that, that would also yeah, be fine. Like, so I could actually get a, get a bonus... Uh, a bonus Jonas, if you will. Wait, how? Well, if I complete both of these, 
if I complete this one, then I'll have five different yes. ones. So I get the last one. But I could, if I complete this one, that'll be a third one, and I get to take another token. You have three already. Not of that one. I only have two. Oh, oh. Yeah, wait, yeah. so I should have had one then. Oh, wait, no, that was no, my that first. Was your, that's why you have two. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Isn't that from Tarzan? Yes, it is. Oh, I see. No, oh, I no, see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, I see. Um, Tarzan's such a good movie. It is. You know, shoot, I can't do anything with that. But this is what I'm going to do. I am going to take this. I don't know. I'm playing a hunt. Okay. And I'm going to take this black one. Well, and then for my normal pick, I'm yeah. going to take this other black the one, yellows. which is the uh, mucus. And I'll take Ooh. all four of these yellows. The dandruff. So I'm going to go ahead and that place That fairy those. needs some head and shoulders. Might help her out a little. So this one is completed. Yes, it is. Which is good. So that's my potion of magnetic attraction. That's your five. So I will get this one. Yes. Now I will drink my potion of magnetic attraction and oh. allow me to take any two that are adjacent. It doesn't really matter as long as you get that red one. Yeah, I'm just going to take these two here. And that will allow me to complete this potion. Oh. Which will then be my third so I will get another token and it doesn't do me any good because just get rid of those you were the first player so let's. we've had an equal amount of turns so that is the game so let's figure out who won <laughs> I think my trophy is filled with that elixir of joy, of the uh, prismatic joy. Uh, I think you took a little bit of Felix Felicis before we started, though. Because uh, normally I'm pretty good at this. I thought it was Pepto Bismol. Oh, gosh. No. I don't know what you took then. All right, so I ended up with 70 points. I had 60. Yeah. Um, so what, 70 points to Gryffindor? Sure. I'll take that. Okay, that works. <laughs> okay, so let's get to what we think. First off, I want to say this is a really cool game. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole mechanic of, you know, the rolling marbles and having that set off chain reactions, I think is, is very unique. I mean, I've never yeah. played a game that's like that. Uh, it's very cool, you know, putting them back in there so you don't know exactly what's how things are going to come out. Um, you know, the whole thing with the potions having abilities when you drink them. Uh, yeah, it'll give you a tummy ache. But, uh, you know, it's it's very cool. I really like the, the gameplay uh, mechanism on this. Now, I've only played it with Megan. Yes. I have not played it. This game actually plays up to four. Uh, so I think the experience will be a little different, but I think it plays really good as a two-player. Yeah. Especially when you have the um, that potion of love, blind uh, love, the blind love in there, where you can actually steal from the other person's beaker. 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 Uh, you know, because that kind of suits us how we like to play. Yeah. And I'm really surprised that you haven't gotten more of those because you really like to I stick it to the old to man. I try not to worry about that, though, honestly. Like, I'm more worried about getting those, like, bonus points. And then I messed myself over and took negative two twice and I just canceled out one of them. But, I mean, you still won. It wouldn't have really mattered much. And, you know, and I've done that in the past where I've taken usually two or three yeah. of the help uh, just to basically set up a move. And that seems to pay off because then I end up getting the... Higher the other tokens, yeah. Uh, I get the, yeah, because I had one. That one was worth 10 points. Yeah. Uh, this one right here, you know. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's huge. I was huge. trying to complete a eight pointer as my highest. Yeah, I never got up to 10, but that definitely was a 10 point swing there. So, what do you think of the game? I think it's super cool. Same reasons you said. I mean, I've never played a game with marble and chain reaction mechanics. I think that's cool. Um, there is a lot of strategy in it instead of just like, you know, just pick a marble and put it down. You know, you kind of have to look ahead, see what your best bet can be. Um, I don't normally go for the professor helper tokens as much. I kind of worry about more getting the bonus points. But, I mean, you kind of took the opposite approach because you normally don't take them. Or you normally do take them. Yeah, and we've been pretty even with our games yeah. as far as who's won. 
Um, but I think this probably gave me the edge in this game. Yeah, it did. Uh, it's a very good gateway game. This is, yes. a, I think this game, now I w do want to point out, marbles, choking hazard, don't play this with infants. Don't drink the potions with the marbles in it if you want to even fake it. Yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. be silly. Uh, but I think this game will appeal to non-gamers just because it's so easy. They, they're, you know, they're not being intimidated by a board. Uh, you know, you've just got rolling marbles. The marbles are fun. Like, I like just playing with the marbles and dropping them in. I think that's cool. Yeah, that's, that is a, the a neat aspect. The contraption's a little hard to set up, but, like, they give you instructions on how to set it up in the rule book, so that's pretty helpful. And really, the, the only problem I had with the game is the fact that mixing these up is kind of a pain. It is hard. You know, uh, they don't really shuffle all that well, so pretty much what we do is we put them in a big pile and, and shuffle them, them together. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then, you know, you got to sort them out, but there's not really a lot. I think there's eight of each one. Yeah. So that's, that's not that big of a deal. Uh, you know, the rule book is kind of, it's clever. It's uh, funny. Especially, you know, even the outside of the box, they, you know, all the different ingredients, you know, like here's the dragon smoke, here's the unicorn tears, and they kind of give you a little, uh, backstory on it. Here's the ogre mucus, and then you've got the fairy dandruff. I don't want to touch maybe fairy dandruff. No, that's but it's probably glittery too. So you know how like glitter is, it gets everywhere. So fairy dandruff, so I'm really ugh. Yeah. So what's the rule book say about the ingredients? Well, they're they a little have, different. Yeah. So the, compared to the box insert um, or the side of it, you know, they tell different stories, and we kind of went over this in our unboxing video as well. So like I know on the side of the box for the unicorn is. It's kind of mean to the unicorn. I don't like it. It says, you know, try collecting it yourself. The tears are very easy to collect because they are always depressed. So you find one, make fun of its horn, and prepare for a shower. Like, be nice to the unicorns. At least this one's not as mean. The description in the book is, you know, unicorn tears are the purest fluid known to the world of magic. And just a few drops can be used to be catalyze a very powerful magical effect. But, like, it's not as mean. Yeah, but it says collecting. It says the same thing right well, there. Well, okay, but don't look at that part. It's, like, more noticeable on the box. Um, no, th I think that's, that's I really funny. I love how they made the whole story, though. I think that's so cool. Just with that immersing factor. So you can see with the uh, insert here, you got to be real careful with the uh, dispenser. But it fits in nice and easy. Right like this. And then you've got a well here for all of the potions. Actually, they're going to go like this, and the other ones will go sideways. I think we showed this in our unboxing. Yes. And then you've got uh, basically a bin here that you can put the marbles. Please put them in a plastic bag, otherwise they're going to roll all over the place. Yes. Uh, but that's really cool, too. So good insert. Overall, I think a uh, really good game. Mm -hmm. uh, I would definitely recommend this. Like I said, it's accessible to uh to really anyone yeah. non gamers gamers i think gamers will like this it's uh, fun too you know because there is like you said it's a it's that tactical thinking that you got to come up with you know do i want to take this marble and cause this reaction do i want to drink this potion to set myself up for my regular pick uh, so yeah so i'll give it a thumbs up thumbs up all right that'll do it for this time and we will catch you guys next time bye Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.